Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have here today in my shop for uh, two different services, 2010 Toyota Corolla. And if you grab from the glove box the owner's manual, Toyota gives you guidance as a do-it-yourself maintenance engine oil and a filter change now what engine is in this vehicle toyota says that at this year 2010 it could have two engines 1.8 liter four cylinder 2zr fe and 2.4 liter four cylinder 2az fe so we will be doing video how to change the oil and filter on 2ZR FE, which is that basic 1.8 liter. This is what you will see after you will open the hood on the vehicle. So basically, the engine is hidden underneath this cover. This is our engine oil dipstick, which I always pull slightly out so the oil can easily drain out of the engine here's the filler cap you can either slightly crack it open and let it sit here or you just leave it closed it doesn't matter we are ready to get underneath the vehicle <laughs> If you get underneath on the driver's side you will see a one pan that's a transmission pan and we are interested in the engine oil pan which is right here here you can see that red mark paint from the previous engine oil people who changed that I will remove this I don't like it there and here is we will be draining it's a drain plug for the oil and here is the housing for the engine oil filter if you ever want to start doing your oil changes you will need some nice oil catching pan and the tool will be 14 millimeter socket so I'm going to adjust the height of this but I still need some space for my tool. Let's see how the previous technician, how he tied it, how much. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Thank you, sir. Whoever did that, thank you for not over tightening that. Now I can go all the way up and I will release by the hand that drain plug. I'm paying attention there is also crush washer I believe they didn't change it that's a blue from me I didn't do the last oil change but I did one of those previous it's still sticking to the engine oil pan not sure if you see that oil floating out I hope you do this is wonderful I love it I took really quickly my gloves off just to show you how it's nicely coming out so you can see the details so that tech as I said did a good job because sometimes they over torque it I'm not sure if you see that detail there is still that blue Toyota crush washer is still nicely sticking to the pan and I can basically continue right away with that engine oil filter uh, the drain plug, the oil pan and the filter are so close to each other that I can just go ahead, lower this entire area and now using the Toyota filter housing wrench which you can purchase at the dealer or in the aftermarket stores having the pan underneath this oil filter housing you can continue right away and let's cross the fingers together that tech did the same good job on this housing 
it's made of plastic so you don't want to ever over tight it which time to time some people do because it could break it could crack oh you see that Ah, oh, this is a little bit too much, I can already feel it. Oh, so you can see why you need that special tool, that special wrench. Uh, because if you try to undo it with, let's say, just channel lock pliers or something like that, you will definitely, that, that housing is made of plastic, you will definitely damage it, scrape it, round it and so on and so on and you don't want to do that for the future not for yourself not for me either because we don't like to see those so the tool can come off because i will be able to keep turning it by the hand if i'm strong enough and i will not remove it completely because it will also start leaking that oil you will see it in just a sec i will let it sit there because i don't want to have a mess i'm filming it Right, so when it starts coming out, almost completely removed, just to prevent the mess, I will let it go for a minute like that. And I will grab that camera for you one more time. Here you can see the oil is still coming. You see the blue crush washer that can be reused. They actually don't have to be thrown away immediately. Here you can see almost completely removed that filter right now actually i'm holding it only with my hand you see the green rubber gasket which is still there it was replaced by the previous tech you see how it's coming out basically if you are careful like this you will never spill it on yourself you have control over the procedure i will screw it back a little bit because i need to put away the camera and this is what the owner actually brought with themselves so this is what we will be using here you can see the number hopefully and it's the filter and again that green rubber o-ring so i'm unscrewing that filter housing again right behind you and this is how you will see it when it comes off. Hopefully it makes sense to you how it works. This is the old filter, which is the paper element. <laughs> Excuse me, that fumes are stinking, obviously. It's an old used oil. <laughs> yep, it might make you sneeze. So this is that old green o-ring. Hopefully you can see it. It's easy you can squeeze it with your fingers you can see this one is very slightly swollen I will say so we will use the new one since we have it yeah it feels completely different and you have to make sure you put it in the right groove it's not all the way here it will be a mistake it will get damaged please observe hopefully it's clearly visible so not to the edge, there is a groove for that o-ring. I will put the new filter in it and I'm basically ready to just put it back and screw it in. And the torque, it's written on the bottom, it's only 25 Newton meters, so it's not much. Everything, all the sealing, it's done by this green o-ring, so you don't have to really crank on it because then it's very difficult to remove it and it, it could be damaged. I always like to clean everything first. And only after that I will be installing this new filter with new o-ring. It's highly recommended you loop this o-ring with some oil. So it's nicely and easily coming in that housing and as we discussed this could be purely theoretically done the entire procedure by the hand only I'm not wearing the gloves I recommend you to wear gloves but I'm operating that camera on and off on and off 
So I'm just using my bare hands and I will wash them after this shot is done. You can see I can still turn it nicely. There is resistance, but I can turn it all the way if I want. All the way to the very end. Here I come with the wrench. Put it on top of that housing. And it should be just a little bit more. Yeah, and that's it. Tiny bit, 25 Newton meters. Isn't much, it always kind of sticks to it. Come on, baby. Yep. So we have this perfectly installed and I guarantee you it won't leak. That O-ring will perfectly seal it in. I keep speaking about those blue crush washers. So I have them here in the back. Hopefully you can see them. And here is the ordering number if you want to get the same ones. The old one suddenly decided to leave and fell in the oil catching pan so here is the new one new blue baby i will put it on top of this drain plug and walking around you watching i can put it back now again be careful with the torque here i grab the small ratchet so i i can feel the torque better than with the big one and I recommend you to go just tight, snug, but not too much. You don't want to strip the thread in the pan. It's a steel one, but it still could happen. So it's a 39 Newton meters if you want to use a torque wrench. And these crush washers will make sure that blue one from Toyota, it, it makes two different things. It, ensures it won't leak i guarantee you it won't and also it's keeping that drain plug from undoing itself it's a really really good crash washer i can highly recommend them we are done here since i have used this catching pan and not the carry only i can show you how that oil was bad right there's a contamination it's kind of brown, dark brown, almost black. So it was definitely correct time to replace it. And this will be another happy Toyota. So now we are ready to add new oil in the engine, but we have two questions, right? What quantity, how much of the oil we need to put there and what kind of oil anyway? So this engine, 1.8 liter, tells us right here. It could be 5W20 or 0W20. And if you read your owner's manual, it will tell you that if you change the filter, you need to replace or add right now 4.4 quarts of that engine oil. So you add the oil right here this is kind of dirty so i will start with cleaning everything look at it just what is on the top of it i don't like that i'm a clean freak so everything is being always cleaned after that i can set it on the side and i don't want ever have any spill right here so i will use the funnel I reviewed this funnel on this channel. It's a screw on with the rubber gasket. So you basically screw it in this opening like this. And it guarantees to you because the gasket that you will never have any spill. I reviewed it on the channel in the case you want to buy yourself one too. I use at my shop only full synthetic oils. And in this engine, I will use 0W20. There is a choice of either 5W20. It's very popular, great for Hondas. I have a Toyota shop, not a Honda shop, so I don't even keep it around. I, I might have something on the shelf, but in generally 0W20 
all day long. You can always use your dipstick to recheck if it's correct. The dipstick has a low and high spots. In the case of this engine, between these two spots, it's 1.6 quarts. In the case you will find it low, it gives you idea. Yep, and I see it, it's right slightly above the top mark. And I will close everything and start it up. The engine oil will spread through the engine and it will be actually perfectly on the top. So this is how I remove that screw on. I will put this filler cap back nice and tight. And I'm basically done with this oil change. Meant to say you are done because I still have to go and replace that windshield reminder sticker. I have to check the tire pressures, I have to reset the maintenance system and go on the test drive. But if you did it for your own vehicle, you could be theoretically finished. So I hope you find this video helpful. Maybe because the current situation, economical situation, maybe more of you will be interested to do your own oil changes and not to pay somebody who knows but that's another reason to film it right so thank you for watching i hope you find it helpful if you like it give it thumb up and be subscribed i think i will film also the transmission service on this car so don't miss that video i will catch you in the next one bye